Hey everyone, 8 Dogs Punk the Video. Grip your caps, grip your coats, because today we are going to Eldrain. Who, why are we going to Eldrain? Who are we seeing? Well, today we're going to see Hilda of the Icy Crown. Who is Hilda? She is 2 Azorius, white, blue, legendary creature, human warlock, 3 4. Whenever you tap a untapped creature, opponent controls, you may pay 1. And if you do, choose 1, create a 4 4 white and blue elemental creature token, or. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control. Or, scry two and then draw a card. So, I think everyone knows where this goes. Tap things down, you get tapped up, and you get a lot more things when you tap your opponent's stuff down. Let's get into 25 creatures. Giant Killer, Gideon's Log Keeper, Golden Meadow, Harrier, Toppelgeist, Nibbles of the Urn, Scab, Wrangler, Court Street Denizen, Dream Shucklegeist, Drum Balor, Elvish Mariner, Godwick the Wizened, Gideon's Avenger, Icy Throne, Century, Minister of Impotence, Belly Knock Trapper, Fate Stitcher, Nimblest of Fates, Rhoda, Geist Avenger, Syrian of Numbing Depths, Tempest Caller, Guardian of Tasmin, Timon, Useful Geist, Subjagger, Angel, I know that's wrong, Syrian Kraken, and Moonshaker, Calvarin. Oh shit, there goes my phone. Alright, that's fine. One Planeswalker, Fairy, who slows the sunset, 22 Spells, Bluster Squall, Enlightened Tutor, Icy Blast, Source of Plowshare, Cyclonic Rift, Downpour, Feeling of Dread, Hidden Strings, Mana Drain, Plunge into Winter, and probably my favorite card ever, Borrowing 100,000 Arrows. Fierce Guardianship, Stroke of Midnight, Succumb to the Cold, Teferi's Protection, Theft of Dreams, Urza's Rebuff, Cone of Cold, Cryptic Command, Ensnare, Sleep, Righteous Fury, 12 Artifacts, Pacifishkin, Pacifish... Alright, I guess we're doing this. Pacifist... Array. I know it's not the right word, but I struggle. Soul Ring, Arcane Signet, Azorius Signet, Great Sword of Tear, Sapphire Medallion, Talisman Progress, Ashnaut's Altar, Hilda's Crown of Winter, Phyrexian Altar, Scepter of Dominance, and Icy Manipulator. Eight enchantments, Betrayal, Curse of Chains, Intruder Alarm, Retreat to Coral Helm, Solitary Sanctuary, Verdict Circle, Anointed Procession, and Opposition, 31 Lands, Adakara Waste, Ancient Tomb, Arcane Lighthouse, Castle Ventress, Celestial Colonnade, Command Beacon, Command Tower, Deserted Beach, Detention Tower, Iganjo, Seat of the Empire, Flooded Strands, Glacial Fortress, Hall of Heliod, Generosity, Hollow Fountain, Hengi Gate, Pathway, Three Islands, Manessa, Turrith, Mystic Gate, Mystic Sanctuary, Nykthos, Shrine of Nyx, Ottawara, Soaring City, Two Plains, One Prairie Stream, Reliquary Tower, Rivendell, Sea of the Clouds, Strip Mine, and Tundra. With this deck, I honestly can't say anything else besides it's going to be annoying, a lot of BS, a lot of tapping things down, and you creating a lot of tokens. A lot of tokens, big creatures, this and that. The only combo I could think of is Hilda, Intruder Alarm, and a token. And also, Frex most likely, Frexian Altar. So, what do I mean by this? You, you have Hilda, you have to have a creature on the battlefield, you tap. So this deck is going to get very annoying, very fast for your opponents. So make sure you have the great, great dice, great flight counter, and a tap, and a play that says, Nah, or, oh, what was it? Make sure you have a play that says, Oh, you like having untapped lands? Not this game. Or something, or something a sort along the likes of that. Until next time, always remember, it's jank, not junk. Don't be a meanie little weenie. It's alright to, it's alright to let people proxy cards. Just let it go. Make modern great again. Band Ragavan, that damn little monkey has to go. And always remember, Atox drew first.